let's add some new data the first one the data from catalog like capacity or any other thing like this this one this one for example and this one then 200 200 any kind of data you can add and then let's try status on site this one and construct it this one and then let's let's save it and let's close it when it's closed, it, it's uh, working really fast now. Okay, let's close it and go back to this, this field and let's open the data tool and let's edit the our our data tool link. Edit and in fields let's um, type something like capacity. Completely the same name which we used to a couple seconds ago to make the new data capacity and uh, status. Now it's OK and let's activate it. Now we're waiting a little bit. OK and let's save our project. Save like an NWF file now. Now we have it. And let's try the, the elements. In first one, we can open the file. Okay. Number is this one. Okay, and let's close it. Nope. And let's find it. And we want to use the element. Then ID, find it, ID element, this one, close to this one, find all, and OK. Now we have a special tab from our Excel. Excel and to these properties. And so we can see that we can get it just. And second good thing that we can use this, use these properties and use these values. Okay, let's um, change something. Example like this one and this one. Capacity and like analyzing it and let's try this one. Find all and hide, find all. I can select it and we have it. We can manage sets and make a new search set. And then one. Then we can use this search set for everything. For clashing, for appearance profiler, like this one. Go here and let's delete all. Here and by set. Fresh, we can take the set, the call, open and run it. And now all of them are yellow. And also we can use it in clashing, in timeline, and in all other things to analyze our model. Yeah. And so it's working pretty faster when we have NWD file and when the Excel is closed when we use NWF file.